Hey, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of some of the tools available to you in the Rebutter app to help get you started using it. Uh, the idea, as I'm sure you're aware now, is that while you're browsing any web page, you come across a story and it expresses an argument or an opinion or a stance of some description, and if uh, there is a rebuttal for it, it will be linked through the app. A little alert will come up and you click on it and you click through to the rebuttal. Now the principle is straightforward. The problem is that there's billions of web pages out there and we've just launched so we don't have rebuttals for them all. So instead of uh, just installing it and forgetting that it's there because there's no alerts coming up and there's um, and so it just sort of seems like it does nothing, we've put a few put a few things into the app that it will give you something to do actively. So the first one would be this go to a random discussion. Anytime you want any page which does not have a rebuttal to it, you click on go to a random discussion and it does just that. It opens a new tab and in that tab you will get a page, a source page which has rebuttals to it. So if you happen to find yourself on this page independently you would get that alert. Uh, in this case we've let the system take us straight to it. So now you've got a page, you can read it, you can see rebuttals in the system and all of the uh, information that goes with them. So that's one thing that you can do to get a feel for what rebuttals look like. And there's a second option and that's to, to just browse uh, rebuttals in the system. Now to access that option on any page, whether it be one with rebuttals or one without rebuttals, there's a button here for menu. If you click on menu, you get a list of options. The one we're looking for here is to browse existing rebuttals. If you click on that, it opens a new tab and it lists the tags and you can click on anyone that you're interested in. Let's go with evolution for the sake of that. And it brings up a list of all rebuttals that have been tagged with evolution. So here's one example. If we click on the first page, which is the source page, I'll just go back to that. You've got the source page, which is being rebutted by the rebuttal. These are the comments, tags. Uh, so if we click on the, the source page, then that brings up that page and allows us to use the rebutter to click through to the rebuttal. Uh, and so that's pretty much that. So they are the two options you've got available to you for finding source pages, finding pages that have rebuttals to them. So whether you hit, whether you go to one and you hit, go to a random discussion, or you go to menu and you click browse existing rebuttals, either way, you can get yourself onto a page that has rebuttals to it. And that'll give you something to play with. Now, the second thing I want to talk about in this clip is uh, voting on rebuttals. So I've just demonstrated uh, how I found this page, looking at all rebuttals tagged as evolution. I just clicked on the first one and brought this up. I clicked through that, brought up the rebuttal to it. And so now arguably I have just read this page and now I've read this page and then I have the ability to vote. So whenever you can vote, this yellow alert comes up and it comes up whenever you do exactly as I've done which is you're on a page with a rebuttal you go to the app and you click through it on the rebuttal when this page loads you get the ability to vote on it I think it's a pretty good rebuttal uh, and it is what was this one it's compelling and it goes thank you for voting current score so, voting is pretty straightforward once you get the option there. Um, however, you have to, in order to get the option to be there, you have to actually start at the rebuttal at the source page and click through one of the rebuttals from the pop-up. Once you've done that, you get the vote option. You cannot, however, click. Say, um, so here's a source and rebuttal page. If I click on the rebuttal page, it opens this up. I can't vote on that.
for it? Because I have not clicked through from the source page. Um, now we've set this up just to stop people from just... If the system can't follow that you've clicked through from the source, then it doesn't know that you've read both pages and it doesn't know that you can vote on the uh, rebuttal aspect of the page because you're just reading that one page. Uh, the idea is that when you're voting on a rebuttal, you're voting on how well this article refutes this article. So if we click on that, brings up that in a different view. You're actually voting on how this responds to that. So unless you've looked at both pages, then really you can't vote. And so we've built that into the system. Uh, and I just, I will just end it there because they are the two topics I wanted to cover. Uh, thanks. Bye.